the comparison is here I'm I have everything I have people who want to see me successful people who are offering me the tools to be successful and uh, teammates who are on the same wavelength as me it feels like a, a family more so here Just headed to go see head of analysis to, to go over some some game tape and and some players that I like get some get some new stuff in the brain learn how to score goals essentially where I uh, the gaffer said in the video if I just maybe took my touch across I, goals and yep then I I probably would have been on how that. did you feel in that did you feel as well you could have Aye. and that's why I was I was almost frustrated with myself <clears throat> right after I'd done it because mm -hmm. taking just a big touch and then made it a full race then Aye. it would have been it would have been a lot better yeah. Um, just need to trust myself in those moments. 100%. I don't even think I can tell you how important it is. A lot of people really depend on, on gym and, and training and all that kind of stuff. And I would say I'm one of those people that depends on this. I'm big on visualization. I'm big on learning new things. Roscoe has, has really, really helped me with that. He's, he's pinpointed stuff that he thinks I can do and maybe do better. And also showed me a lot of new stuff to try and fair play to him, it's working, so. <laughs> so there's like, there's a numerous amount of options. I probably just have to keep going straight. I probably was also dead tired. That's probably why I made the decision. Of but course. It's, it's that split second of, I'm just gonna commit to this. Uh, that is the difference, that killer instinct, isn't it? There's a lot of prolific strikers in the world and um, Roscoe and myself have, have been able to identify guys who are very similar to me, which ends up helping with movement where I should be in certain certain times, um, what foot to use at, at certain times, how to link up with players, and even kind of finding comparisons. Uh, I think some of the stuff that, that Ross was pulled up applies so much to me that it's like, it's almost impossible that I don't use it on the pitch. Uh, of course, it's up to me at the end of the day to use it, but the, the stuff that he finds, the players that are s similar to me and all that kind of stuff is second to none, honestly. It adds maybe, I don't even know, like 30, 40% more to what I'm doing because it just gives me clear ideas. When I see stuff on the pitch, I'm going, I've seen this on, on the video before, I need to do this, which again, second to none. If you, if you know what you're gonna do on the pitch before it happens, you're, you're gonna score goals or you're gonna affect the game. The second goal I score against Aberdeen genuinely uh, I'd say four hours before the game, me and Roscoe sat down and watched the striker and he had done a, a double movement to go and score a goal to then be able to go do it four hours later on the pitch and have it come off. It was like, that's why I was smiling so much and I was celebrating because I was thinking, Roscoe just showed me this. So to, to relate to uh, Gilchrist though, when he gets in those situations, maybe it's, he'll be a little, like, maybe like he'll be here yeah. instead of there. Yeah. But I find that I need to, again, trust my my ability and like mm -hmm. the power and speed and kind of just like maybe take the guy on there. Maybe, maybe. The, the best part about all of it is that the stuff that he's showing me is, it, it's fun for me to learn it. Yeah. I'm, just, I'm honestly just enjoying it. And I find that for football to have confidence, you have to be enjoying. They correlate a lot and I'm, I'm having a lot of fun, which uh, ultimately brings my confidence up because of the video I'm doing. From the first meeting that me and Roscoe have ever done, he kind of gave me an in into the analysis. So he gives me a laser, he tells me to ask him questions and even some of the time once we've gone deeper into the clips like the more that we've done it i'm bringing players to him he's sending me i don't know 30 clips no maybe 90 clips because that's what a striker will have and he's going i'll pick 20 from this segment of clips you pick 20 from this segment of clips we'll go over them together and we just kind of go back and forth on decision making what foot to use that sort of stuff and yeah, it's, it's, it's very fluid because I, I find that maybe we, we think a bit similarly when it comes to football, which is nice. And we have the same admiration for football. I watch it endlessly and so does he. So being able to kind of share that with someone is really nice. There's a lot of great things about St. Johnson and a, little, a lot of good people around the, the club. As a young player, it was a bit difficult to get the information that you needed. I wasn't a seasoned striker. I hadn't played enough games in MLS to say that. I needed to learn. 
I wasn't learning, if I'm honest, um, more times than not. Just coming on at the end of games for 10 minutes and, and just having to fight with people. It was a tough time for me. The comparison is here, I'm, I have everything. I have people who want to see me successful, people who are offering me the tools to be successful, and uh, teammates who are on the same wavelength as me. It feels like a, a family, more so here. Oh, no way he hits it. Yeah. Ah. I knew you'd enjoy that. I just wanted to put a smile on your face. <laughs> yes, thank you very much. No problem, any questions? Nah, it's more goals. Yeah, more absolutely. Goals, more goals, more goals. I got you. When the rain started pouring and the, the pitch was very nice again, it felt like a proper game for us. And you know, the moment I knew we were gonna win, it was funny enough, when we were lined up to walk out, the Livingston guys are all kind of jittering a little bit and moving around and yelling and kind of trying to get each other amped. I could look at all of my teammates, everyone was just staring outside like they were ready to go. So I, I knew that, that we were gonna put in a big shift whether it be three points or not. Even when I was at St. Johnston, I, I believed I could score goals. So it was just kind of like, why is this not working? Why is this not working? My confidence was a bit lower than normal, of course. I didn't want to be too hard on myself at that point because as a team, collectively, we weren't doing well enough. And once we did start doing well enough, ultimately goals start to come. immediate confidence boost. You could probably see it. I'm sure that if you watch my next five, six actions after that goal, they're probably pretty sharp. Scoring is probably top two, maybe three feelings in the world for me. Um, I get little tingles all over the body after it. Euphoric, essentially. After scoring that, it's just everything just kind of raises and I, I feel great. I've always had those kind of things within me at some point. As a, as a little kid, I tried a lot of crazy stuff. I was trying trying strange things, trying to do bikes and bicycle kicks and all, all, all that kind of stuff. But that goal, it's special because even for me, I don't, I don't really remember thinking about it too much. It was just kind of like, this is, this is how it's gonna go. And even when I was celebrating, when I was running over towards the fans, I was like, what have I just done? <laughs> so, yeah, that was a that was a cool one for me for sure. I do feel responsibility. I I want to score goals. I'm I'm a number nine, and scoring goals is your job. And scoring goals is ultimately how you win games of football. I actually got asked in an interview once. I think I was at five goals at the time. Now that you're at five goals, do you feel like there's more pressure for you to keep scoring and that sort of thing? But I'd say that pressure is almost good for me in a sense because it means that people are expecting it from me. I'd say that before people weren't expecting it from me, which is nice for me because I'm expecting it from myself as well. I don't wanna say I don't care what other people think, but I, in, in all reality, I, I kind of don't. Yeah, the negativity was, was obviously there, but when the negative stuff comes about, that's your opinion. That's, that's how you think, that's not how I think. I would be lying if I said there wasn't moments where I was kind of going, wow, like, is, is that really what people are thinking of me and that sort of thing. But again, when it comes back to it, I don't blame anyone for thinking the way they did. Maybe even guys in our dressing room didn't trust me at that time, you know? They're going, why is this guy from, from St. Johnson who scored one goal getting a chance with us? But I believed in myself and the gaffer believed in me and ultimately all of the teammates believe in me as well. And I'm, I'm really happy to be part of this, this group. You can almost see the difference of of play, like the way that we've come together is, is is second to none, where I'm really enjoying my football and the team's enjoying its football as well. But I'm definitely gonna try and be the best asset to my team and scoring goals is, is part of that, so that's what I wanna do. The difference in, in confidence um, and things that I'm trying is, and just overall, just understanding of the game. This is definitely the best I've ever played. There's maybe one instance where I've played similarly to this, and it was when I was 18 years old. Um, I went to the playoffs with my team down in Florida with Whitecaps, 
and I was I was playing very well. I think I scored five and three. I was flying at the time. It, it feels similar to that confidence-wise, but again, that's against um, against kids. And now I'm I'm doing it in the men's game, and I, I feel very confident doing it. So definitely the best football I've played. We put in so much time. It, stuff on the pitch with the gaffer, stuff in the video with Roscoe, and then you just mix it all together. If, if I didn't start scoring goals, then someone wasn't doing something right, and it probably would have been me. So, nah, the, all of the work, it's no, it's no coincidence. This is stuff that we've done from, from a very long time now, and we're all very happy that we're, we're reaping the rewards.